well. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing great. I'm going to do this on a very relevant subject as we have been talking about the death of Queen Elizabeth II. California has signed a bill which will now allow people to be composted instead of buried, cremated, or liquefied. We can add composting. So what is that? It's a way of turning the deceased into soil. Soil that can then be taken out, given back to the family, and they can use it to plant a tree, nourish their garden, help their grass, whatever they want to do. Composting also breaks down teeth and bones. But I'm, there must be some way to sort through all this to make sure people won't be finding bones on your property. But not everything is made clear right now exactly what are the minuses of composting. So basically, the body would be sent to a human composting facility. The body would be put in a metal tank. Into that tank would also be put wood chips, straw, and alfalfa. Over the next 30 days, the mixture is given oxygen and periodically turned. Natural microbes in the body and organic material will raise the temperature in the vessel to 150 degrees Fahrenheit and break down the remains. Also, some solar can be used to make sure that the temperature gets high enough. It's nature doing the work and it feels almost like a miracle, they say. The body and the materials are turned for 30 days. After a few weeks of drying, the mixture is ready to distribute in the family's favorite garden spot. How much compost can you get from a body? Well, they say that you will probably get from an average body about one cubic yard per person. And they say that's the amount of soil that would fill a pickup truck. Now that seems impossible. Families may not want all of this material, so they can choose to take all of the material or they can take home a smaller amount as a memorial and donate the rest to a nearby land trust, which will use the soil for reforestation. Some people want to view the body before the funeral and because this is a natural process, the body cannot be embalmed. But they say you can do a viewing using refrigeration te techniques or dry ice. A lot of the viewings can be done remotely so that they don't actually have to come in contact with the body so that you can have the memorial service, you can have the composting, you can take home the remains in the form of soil, and that would be the whole cycle. They say one of the benefits is that you're going to save a lot of space. There's going to be in the future more and more problems with finding space to dig a hole and put in a casket. 
plus there's also the problem with having to embalm people because there are certain environmental negatives to embalming. They say that cremations emit more than 1.7 billion pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And the energy required for each cremation is about equal to 20 gallons of gas. If you're going for burial, normally you use about 4 million gallons of a bombing fluid and 6 and 1.6 million tons of concrete to bury people a year. If composting doesn't sound right, many places are also legalizing a process known as alkaline hydrolysis or water cremation in which a body is placed in a pressurized container along with potassium hydroxide and heated for several hours until everything breaks down to a liquid and bone ash. The process does not produce harmful emissions like regular cremation and takes only about one eighth of the energy. Some people are choosing a green burial in which the unembalmed body is wrapped in a simple shroud and put in a biodegradable casket and placed directly into the ground without a burial vault. Not every cemetery allows green burial, but there are locations that do that. Now, if the body is not in a vault, of course, as the body decomposes, the ground will sink in the area where the body was buried. So that is a, an additional problem with green burials, and that is why not every cemetery allows a green burial. Now this is not a great subject, kind of morbid, but I think it's something that everybody should know about. There are choices and as we have just watched a number of days burying the queen, I think it's appropriate for everybody to, at this time, know that there are alternatives to the things we normally think of as burials. So, just for your knowledge, please like and subscribe. Bye. Oh, and I wanted to add these burials do not inform us about complications arising from diseased bodies and bodies that may have heavy duty antibiotics or heavy duty anti-cancer chemicals used before death. So that is another issue that has to be addressed. The liquefied bodies are flushed into your local water district. So you need to know how your water district is handling these bodies after they undergo liquefaction. Uh, so there are many other problems and I didn't want to leave these questions out in presenting this information. And again, Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. Bye.